What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. If you're anything like me, you've probably seen people playing modded Balistro, whether it's the Cryptid mod or any other mod pack out there. In this super quick video, I'll show you how to install practically any mod for Balistro in no time. So let's begin. First of all, Balistro was made on a game engine called Love. By default, there usually isn't a way to load mods and get extra code running. So in order to do so, we'll need one particular mod or DLL file in order to load other mods, mod packs, etc. The first step to getting pretty much any mod or mod pack working is lovely. This is a simple DLL file that allows you to load extra code like mods, packs, etc. In order to get this working, first of all, find Palestro in Steam or wherever you have it installed, right click, properties, and choose under the installed files tab, verify integrity. This will run through the couple of megs of game files and make sure everything's stock standard. Once it's done this, in the first link down below, we'll be downloading this. Simply choose the latest release on the far right over here, then select Windows or Mac. For me, I'm on Windows, so I'll download this here. Odds are your browser will likely complain about it as it's just quite literally a single DLL file in a zip. Regardless, once you have the zip downloaded, just open it with 7-zip, WinZip, or anything, and you'll find a single DLL file inside of it. All you need to do is drag this to where the game is installed. So in Steam, right-click Balatro, Manage, and choose Browser Local Files. Then inside of this new window, simply drag the DLL into here, and that's it. We've now installed the first part of getting any mod working. Then we'll need to actually make a place where the mods will go. At the very top of your file browser, up here, click in a blank space and type in percentage app data percentage backslash balatro. Just like that, when you hit enter, you'll be dropped straight into your balatro save and config folder. This is located in C uses your username app data roaming balatro. If you've ever modded Minecraft, it's right next to it. Inside of here, we'll need to make a new folder. I'll use control shift N, the hotkey for this, and we'll just name it mods, capital M. Once you've done this, place all of your mod files into this folder. So, whether you're downloading card source, pretty much anything off of Nexus mods, the GitHub awesome Balatro, which has a ton of different Balatro mods and things listed to individual creators' websites, or like I'll use in this video as an example, the Cryptid mod, you'll basically just be downloading them and dropping them into that folder, sometimes with one or two extra steps. For example, the Cryptid mod requires me to have Steam modded and Talisman. Steam modded is the second most common thing that you'll find mods need, and some mods included already, such as the Cryptid mod, so when you download it, just make sure you don't have a duplicate duplicates, especially different versions, in your mods folder. To get the latest Steam modded, you'll find a link down below. Here is the Balatro mod loader, Steam modded, and you'll see it currently says deprecated, which means it's old and unsupported. This is how you used to download it from the releases page here. Instead, now you'll need to scroll down on this page and choose this link over here, where it shows you how to install it. Step one is installing Lovely, two is installing Steam modded, and essentially we're just dropping it into the Palatro mods folder. You can download it by clicking this tiny link here under method 3A, or from this main page, choose the green code button, followed by download zip. This downloads the latest cutting edge version of Steam modded. Simply open up the zip you just downloaded, you'll find smods main, which is the steam modded folder, and a bunch of files inside of it. Drag this smods main directory into your Balatro mods folder in AppData. So, just like that, once again, to get here, use percentage app data percentage Balatrom, and if you haven't already got the mods folder, create one and open it. Now that we've done these two simple steps, we can load pretty much any mod. For the cryptid mod, the last step is downloading the actual mod itself, downloading the zip, opening the zip, and you'll find a bunch of different mods inside of it. We have the cryptid mod and talisman, which is a different mod, which allows us to work well with very, very high score numbers. As you can see, there's a Steam modded folder here, and if we were to drag all of these into our mods folder, we'd have two copies of Steam modded. So for this reason, just check what files you're dragging in before you do, and make sure you don't have any duplicates. So I'll select everything here, hold Control and click Steam modded to unselect that, and I'll drag it out into my mods folder. Just like that, we've now installed Cryptid, 
Talisman, and we have the latest version of Steam modded here. That's it. Now, we've successfully modded Balatrome. All you need to do is fire up the game, and this time you'll see something weird happens. When the game starts up, you'll notice a black window appears, which is actually the mod loader. If I exit full screen, you can see the mod loader here, talking about loading all of these different mods, shaders, etc. And of course, you can see the game's changed to the encrypted mod in the background. If you're ever going to get any errors with modded Baltro, it'll show in this window here. So if you see any red text or something that looks pretty bad, you can Google for it or most likely just read it and figure out whatever mod's causing the issue and remove it, update it, or it might even tell you what's wrong and how to fix it. That's it. From here, you can enjoy modded Baltro, just click play. And as you can see, there's a ton of different difficulties and of course, a ton of different decks, cards, and goofy things like that. With just two super simple steps, we've allowed the game to load mods. And most importantly, we've actually loaded a mod, which is fantastic. Now, here's just a quick important note about modded Baltro. You'll have a mods button over here, which allows you to see what mods are currently installed. You can click them to get extra info and configure them in a lot of cases, such as disabling scoring animations, which can help a lot, especially with game crashes in goofy high score runs. And on the homepage here, a config button for the mod loader entirely. You can enable or disable Steam achievements here if you wish, though they are disabled by default for modded Balatro runs. Speaking of, as you won't earn achievements for Balatro when using modded Balatro without explicitly enabling it, what happens to your save game? Well, as you can see, I've already got some of these unlocked and some of them even have progression, such as my work on the yellow deck over here. What happens to your save game? Well, if you start a run with any of these modded packs over here and you choose to uninstall the mods, mod loader or anything like that and go back to the vanilla version, can you still progress? Well, yes, your save file is actually intact. If we start R or Windows R percentage app data percentage Balatrum and have a look here, you have one, which is your profiles, saves and things like that for the game. And most importantly, in the config folder here, you have different save files for all of the different mods. So while this does technically affect your save game in some way or another, for the most part, you should be fine at playing the game and then going back to vanilla. If you wish, I'd recommend making a backup of this app data roaming Balatro folder in its entirety, just so you can go back to a completely normal vanilla installation at any stage in the future. I've already done this, so that's good. Anyways, that's really it. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.